hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will show how to define a host a simple host and describe some of the parameters associated with it for that i will go to cd user local nagios etc and objects if i click enter and press ls type ls i will able to see various configuration files attached to it the configuration files called commands.cfg contains all the commands contacts will contain the contacts and the contact groups localhost printer switch and test pc are the devices configuration templates.cfg is the configuration that we can use in any of our device configuration time periods is for defining the time period like how much time to which time i want to monitor this host so let's see first i will move to templates.cfg i will cat if i do a cat and so let me move to the top okay so these are the contact templates first name is generic contact the name of this contact template service notification period is 24 cross 7 service notification can be sent anytime same for host notification period service notification options is for w for warning unknown critical recovery flapping and scheduled downtime events host notification option events send notification for all host states flapping events and scheduled downtime events the service notification command that this contact group will use is notify service by email host notification command notify host by email and register is zero as this is just a definition it's a template we can use using the use command in when we define our actual contact we can use this that's why templates are created so that we can reuse this template and use it in another contact host templates so this is for a generic host there is a name the name of the host template is generic host notification enabled notifications are enabled event handler enabled flap detection enabled process puff data enabled retain status information retain non-status information notification period 24 cross 7 and register is zero again register zero means it's only a definition this is not a real host this is just a template this way we can create template so that we can reuse this template in some other host so that we do not have to write all these directives once again this is for a linux host a windows host definitions this is for a printer this is for a generic switch and the next is the service templates so this is just a template that we currently just saw now next what i will do i will create a host for creating a host what i need to do first before creating host just let me show you vi localhost.cfg this is the host 
that you generally see and that is reflecting in our Nagios system. This is a host which is using a Linux server template. Host name is localhost, alias is localhost and address is 120 loopback address. This is the host group and service definitions are all defined here. What I will do, I will do uh, suppose a suppose a, a Linux server learn to code Linux server dot cfg. Suppose this is the name. I will change the host name. Learn to code Linux server. Alice, let me keep it. Learn to code Linux server. And the address. This is the address. And it's using a host template that is Linux server. Now to monitor this server, I need to specify this CFG file in nagios.cfg file. So I will just back a directory. I will vi nagios.cfg. I will press I. And here, definitions for monitoring the local, as you can see, it's here. I want to monitor this CFG file as well. This way we can add the CFG file and there is configuration for router switch and we can also configure a directory as mentioned here like servers, printers, switches so that the all the directory is monitored. So let me save it restart the Nagios and if I go back to home and to host I can see this is showing as pending this host has been added so the status information states that host check scheduled for this time and if I click here so it's showing host state is up for 20 second, 22 seconds and we can all the see the type current attempt last check time check type check latency so these information are visible so that's all in this video where we have learned a simple use how to use the host template that is Linux server and add some of the host to monitoring state. Thank you.